Do you want to achieve photorealism? Do you want to be able to turn any image reference that you want into a realistic 3D scene? In this course, I will show you the entire process of turning any image or reference that you want into a realistic 3D scene in Blender. This course is divided into three major parts. We have the modeling, the texturing, and the lighting. In part one, the modeling, the first thing that you will learn is to match the scale of your reference. You will learn how to use the FSpy add-on to create a basic scene that matches the same proportions of your reference. And since most people have problems with scale matching, I've added a new scene, this exterior over here, just so that I can make sure that you got this scale right, the scale of matching your reference. And after that, we're gonna be adding the details to our scene. I'm gonna be explaining every tool that we're gonna be using in extreme details, so that you can be able to create clean, concise, realistic and optimized modeling and after that we're gonna jump into the second part of this course which is the texturing so the main goal of this part is to teach you how to create realistic materials that matches the same materials or the exact materials in your reference so you will be able first you will be able to study your reference pick up the clues from your reference and after that you will go into substance designer and you will create the exact same materials that you have in your reference. And after that, UV mapping. We're gonna learn how to set the correct UV mapping in our scene. You can see over here, we have two types of bricks. They are the same, but one has the right UVs and the other one has the wrong UVs. So I'm gonna show you that. So check this out. This one over here it has the wrong UVs. You can see that over here, they are messy and not organized. The other bricks over here has the right UVs. Check this out. They are clean, concise, and optimized UVs. You might say, why should I bother with this? Why should I set the right UVs into my object? My model is already looking good. Why should I bother with that UV mapping? Let me tell you why. There is mainly two reasons. So the first reason, in case you want to paint on your model, or let's say in our case, let's say that we want to add some dirt. Because one of the rules for achieving photorealism is to add imperfections so you won't gonna be able to do so if your brick if your uvs are not set correctly you will have those repetitive problems like this and yes we'll have a lot of problems but if you are having the right uvs you will be able to freely paint on your walls and you will you won't have any issues the second reason to have the right uvs is that let's say for example that you want to take your scene into a game engine and use it as a game environment because we're gonna be doing so later on so you're not going to be able to see those textures correctly because again, your UVs are not set in a correct way. So I'm going to show you how to set clean, concise and optimize UVs to any object that you want. Okay, and after that, in our last part, we're going to be working on the lighting. And let me tell you this, do you want to learn the secret for achieving photorealistic lighting in your scene? I'm going to teach you the five rules for achieving photorealistic lighting. If you learn these and apply these rules, I guarantee you the great results. And also I'm gonna show you how to create three different scenes with different lightings. Basically I'm gonna teach you the right settings to change in order to have different kind of outcomes. And after that we're gonna be setting the right keyframes to create this realistic animation. And by doing so, we're gonna be hitting our main objective of this course, which is to turn this real reference into a realistic 3D scene in Blender. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the reference that you want and let's start our challenge right away. And by the way, if you didn't like it or it didn't help you, you can get your money back right away. Udemy protects you with a 30 days money back guarantee. So, if in case you didn't like it or it didn't work for you, you can ask for a refund. So, basically, you have nothing to lose. Just give it a try and if didn't, you didn't like it, get a refund. And from my end, I give you a lifetime money back guarantee. This is my email if you didn't like it. Even after that 30 days, send me a message, ask for a refund and I'm gonna send it to you right away.